Now let's compare the difference between Excel 2007, Excel 2010, and Excel 2019. Many of us used back in time Excel 2007, but surprisingly enough, there is some people today still using Excel 2007. They are trying to break through and jumping into the Office 365 uh, bundle but it's hard for them because maybe it's like the fear of change or maybe there are many things that are confusing for them and making their workflow uh, slower than it used to be so they choose to stay with the older versions of it than going to a new version and learning more but in reality you don't need to learn too much they are they are pretty much similar with some changes in design and adding more features to make your life easier so in this course we will try to learn and see what is the difference between 2007, 2010, and 2019 versions of Excel. As you can see, this is a snapshot of Excel 2007. As you are familiar with, you have the home screen, you have insert tab, page layout, formulas, data, review, and developer mode, and so on. You still have sheets. And you have the first page when you click on new, you will have it named as book one. Uh, probably when you save the file, the file extensions are a little different now than it used to be in 2007. I believe it was XLS in the past. Um, now it's maybe XLSX or so, just to indicate it is the new Excel. But you still, with the new Excel, you're still able to save uh, versions of your document that are openable in older versions. So, you are pretty much familiar with this Excel 2007 user interface. Let's jump to Excel 2010. That's how Excel 2010 look like. Still home page, insert page layout and so on. Almost similar with some uh, updates and advancements in the icons. And their graphical design of the icons. Maybe minor change in features. We're not going to go into details in those, but we want to jump right into uh, Excel 2019 or let's say Office 365. So you can call it 2019, 2020, 2021 Excel, all applicable since the Office 365 bundle is, uh, I believe they are stopping to call names based on the year. Uh, but I mean, Microsoft could change that kind of uh, path anytime and start to give back names based on years let's jump into a real excel 2019 uh, program and see how does it go so this is the excel 2019 or let's say office 365 excel what happened with the office 365 basically they gave you the option to access your documents online so if, you, if you're not having your laptop or your computer with you, you can access anywhere in the world, log in into your Microsoft account and be able uh, to access your documents. If you allow the cloud to take those documents to be uploaded and synchronized, then you'll be able to access them anywhere. I don't see it very useful for myself because I need privacy for my documents first. And uh, secondly, I mean, sometimes you, you maybe forgot to synchronize or maybe some documents are missing or the document is too big or the document is connected to other documents that make it hard to access them from anywhere in the world so that's basically my microsoft account and the licenses associated with it and uh, when you log into microsoft account and log into your office 365 then the program will know that you are the person who's having or owning the license for this uh, program so here you can see you have the home tab, you have insert tab, you have page layout, you have formulas, data, review, view, help, and so on. What is different? You can see there's a new tab called draw. Of course, as you know, uh, Microsoft is uh, part of the technology advancement of the tablets and the touch screens of these days. So they added a tab in all their Office 365 programs to be able to tab and write on the document directly i don't know if that's very useful for building up excel sheet but it could be useful for explanations and editions and revisions and so on so if let's say you are a manager and uh, one of your employees giving you back a document then you think 
uh, row K having some problems, row M have some problems. In the past, we used to highlight that and add uh, a note to be able to let that employee know where the problem happening. Now you can click on the pin and write or point out if you have access to a Surface Book, probably that's more making sense. Or if you have a Wacom tablet, that you can be able to write efficiently on the screen and give your notes and so on. But I mean, we have previously the, the revision, uh, probably in um, Excel 2010, like 2010 Excel and beyond. You are able to do uh, reviews and so through this tab, so you can add notes and... Uh, you can uh, add comments and see who review it and who gave these comments and if these comments are resolved or no and those details but i mean you have the draw option this draw option is very helpful for myself through the microsoft one note uh, that's not very old in the microsoft bundle uh, that's useful if you want to create notes making lectures through handwritings and so on that's helpful but as i said this tab here is for reviews and adding your own handwritings on a certain document to give it back for revisions. As you can see, things are similar. Probably now graphs are almost similar, but probably you are having, uh, like as you see here, Visio Data Visualizer, so you can connect the Visio, you can connect the Bing Maps, you can get more add-ins. There's the icon tab in here, so Microsoft is providing you with icons that are embedded in the program so you don't need to go online and look up for free icons in case you need to create dashboards and whatsoever so here you have um, a fair good library of icons that you can use uh, in your tabs and uh, making your document more visually appealing pictures now probably the pictures are a little bit more complicated uh, I'm not sure if I'm able to pull a picture here but what you can do with pictures now you can remove background for high resolution pictures if you think the algorithm is not taking out the right background for you then you can realign which area you want to keep which area you want to remove so that could be handy there's the three 3d models as well if you are handling 3d models and you want to show them in your excel sheet in a certain way if you're an engineering uh, field or automotive field or whatsoever then uh, 3d models can be implemented here can add screenshots smart art is an old feature and uh, adding processes and so are still the same word art the same so in file here it's a little different than before so you have the file will take you to a totally new page where you can see uh, your older documents that you opened recently and you can save as info you can publish and export and share then there's the account information and the options options give you the option to change the coloring how does your uh, software look like in a visual way so you can see here the office theme you can see the office background he mean by those little icons behind you so you can see birds for spring in here uh, whatever you want but that's my personal reference and office theme colorful uh, personally I love to have it in black so I'll put it back in black so this way uh, your eyes will be less strained while working for long periods of hours um, on this software so that's pretty much it about the comparison between 2007 2010 and Office 365 represented by 2019 or you call 2020 Excel or 2021 Excel